so this is going to be another tutorial on Notability. The last one basically just included some information. It was an introduction to Notability and how to create your own note. But today we're going to focus on how to import PDFs and the things you can do with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and open Notability. And this is the home screen. So I'm going to make another subject. So I'll just create subject. And we'll call this communications. So another thing you can do is you can add a divider. So this is kind of like tabs in a binder. So I will call this divider annotations. So now within communications you have another section. And a cool thing you can do is if you click edit and you click the gear, you can change the icon. So right now the icon is a book, so I'm going to change it to a cat. And that's just, I guess it's fun. So now we have our new section, and we'll click done. And now I want to import a PDF into Notability. So I'll go to Safari, and I have this Hunger Game website up. And so, say your teacher told you that you have to read an excerpt from The Hunger Games and annotate it. Well, what you could do is you just open this read an excerpt. And up here, when you click, it says open in Notability. So you just choose that. And it has your Hunger Games excerpt. And you could add it to another note, but I'm just going to create a new note. And click OK. And we have it open. So this is going to work with anything really. Basically, if you need to if you need to go to Moodle and open some assignment from your teacher, you can open it in Notability, the same thing will come up. And what's cool is you can annotate this the way you do something on paper. So there's a little marker in between the pencil and the eraser, which is a highlighter. So you tap once to select it and tap another time to see the options. And Maybe I want to highlight things in green and change, yeah, that's... So, you know, you can do what you usually do. Highlight whatever is important. And underline key elements similar to highlighting. And that's kind of just how you go about annotating a regular text, right? And here you can do the same thing. You can add your own notes in as you annotate. And I know there's a zoom feature down here, the magnifying glass, but with a PDF you can just zoom in and you have enough space to write what you want to write. So we'll do that. There, and you have your little annotation in the middle. So that's how you can annotate a text on Notability. And other things you can do is, here in the plus sign, you could add a photo if that's relevant. You could add a figure. And if you just draw something, done. And basically you have this figure that you can move around. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. But, um, you can also add sticky notes, and maybe this was, I know this is supposed to be a communications assignment, but maybe it was a math assignment. Well, you can go ahead and add a graph and, you know, make yourself a graph. So those are just all kinds of things you can do with Notability, and I find it really fun and convenient because it's less writing, your hand doesn't cramp as much, and there's a lot of fun options for you to use. So now, say you wanted to share this with somebody or upload it onto some Moodle website or something like that, then you can click this arrow, and here's all the places you can upload your, your PDF. So you could email it to yourself, you could upload it to your Google Drive, you could print it, open it in another app. So 
And there's a lot of options when you import PDFs. So hopefully this helps you know the kind of things you can do when you're using Notability with PDFs. And if you have a certain video you'd like to see made, certainly request it, and I'll try and make it. But thanks for watching.